And in the impact segment tonight, there are signs that the Washington establishment is turning against the Obama administration, at least temporarily. Senator Harry Reid says he's appalled by the Associated Press story and wonders why the Justice Department didn't just ask the AP for information before seizing phone records. Washington Post giving the president four Pinocchios, which means he's not telling the truth about how he described the terror attack in Benghazi. And the website Politico says lots of Obama supporters certainly jump off the ship. Joining us now from Washington, Republican strategist Kate Obershane and Democrat Kirsten Powers, also a Fox News analyst, who said this. What I don't understand about what the president is doing is, to a certain extent, you could argue that he wasn't really involved in a lot of this stuff, but he is so centrally involving himself with these repeated lies, and I'm just going to call them lies because they're lies. They're on tape. Uh, nobody thought that he called it a terrorist attack. All right. Now, did you get any blowback from that, Powers? Nothing more than the usual. <laughs> because, you know, you use the word lies in the context of the yeah, president, and I, I mean, it's pretty I, strong. I think sometimes you do have to just call a spade a spade. And look, the Washington Post called it a whopper and gave it four Pinocchios. I called it a lie. It is. It's, tr it's transparently a lie. Why do you think, he, then, the president is putting his reputation on the line? And that people know. like you in the Washington Post who support the president, why do you think he's doing that? You must have some thought about it, though. There's got to be a I, reason the man is putting his whole reputation on the line here. I, mean, I don't know if he doesn't remember what he said, but the problem, he's just playing these word games, and it's getting old. When you have a situation where you have, the, you have the New York Times reporting on September 20th that that's the first time the White House used the word terrorism in connection with the attack, um, it, it, this is not up for opinion. It's a fact. He was asked in an but, interview but you're with Steve Kroc my question right afterwards. You're dodging my question. It's well, not I that he doesn't remember. I can't know why he does it. Well, wait, 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 though. He's got White House counsel to remind him what he says, all right? And he's got speechwriters to put on paper what he said, what he isn't said. He is going out there, Powers, and attempting to rewrite history, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to put it. You say he's lying, okay? But there's got to be a reason why he's doing it. And you don't know? You don't have any idea? Any any thought about it? I hate, you know, Bill, you do this with me a lot. You try to get me into the intent of why people are doing things. Yes. I don't know what his, what his intent is. I All I know is what he's doing. All right, let's and throw what it he's over doing to, is he's, say, it over to he's continually you, saying something that's, that's demonstrably false. Okay. Do you have any idea why the president might be doing this, Kate? Because every time he's done it in the past, he has gotten away with it, Bill. This is the first time because it is so egregious. Because him coming out and saying that he called it a terrorist attack is so ridiculous that the press would finally be made to look like idiots. So they have to come out, not not Kirsten at all. I think she's being an objective journalist right now, and Thank I appreciate you. that. But I do think that the press is in a position where the American people are so aware that the president is standing up telling a complete lie to the American American people, um, that he blamed it on a video, and that to go along with the lie any longer... Do you, do you um, go would ahead with the theory that this is all about the election, that, that he did that and misled everybody because he didn't want to get in trouble with the Romney people about being soft on terrorism or not handling the Benghazi thing? thing. I think so he decided to, to try to cover this up. And now he just doesn't want to admit he did it? Is that? That was, that was certainly part of it. What he was covering up, the extent to what he was covering up, we don't even know. We now know, as you've pointed out, that we know it happened in terms of um, some of the sequence of events, but we still don't know what went on behind the scenes and what the overall No, and that's why Becca, and even was. Beckel wants to know power. Even, right. even Beckel wants to know what happened. Now, you had Jay Carney today. I, I just wish I was in that room. Oh, uh, we can't talk about the IRS because there's an investigation. This is the biggest ruse in the yeah. world, all right? Yeah. So we're never going to answer any questions about any controversy because there's always going to yeah. be an investigation. And I'm just going, I, when is this going to stop? Or the press corps, you know what they should have done? En masse walked out. Every one of them said, they, you know I what, I don't know Jay? why one of them doesn't just say... We sit in here and listen to you talk about ongoing investigations all the time. New T Newtown was an ongoing investigation. Benghazi was an ongoing investigation. The Boston cops was an ongoing investigation. I mean, you can go through all these things where they just they choose to not do it. I just don't understand why someone Everybody doesn't call him out on this. Everybody in that press room today should have left and said, Jay, you know, with all due respect, when you're ready to answer legitimate questions, we'll come back. But you can sit there by yourself because you're making an excuse. It's patently transparent. 
You're insulting us and the American people. You can answer any question yeah. you want about this investigation. You just can't prejudice it. The president can't say so-and-so did it. That you can't do. But you can say how many IRS agents have been disciplined, if any. You can say that. Yeah, um, you can also speak on principles. I mean, they just get asked well, to speak on principles. Well, they already did that. They already said, and if it happened, we'll be mad. Yeah, thanks. Now, There's Kay, you believe that, the, uh, that the, uh, the AP thing is a big scandal, right? You're putting the word scandal on it? You bet I am. I'm not the only one who's putting the word scandal no, on I, it. No, believe me, I know. Uh, everybody's putting on But But, you know, I think you've got to be careful with that because it yeah. is a national security issue. The AP has been exceedingly kind to Barack Obama, so there's no right. politics involved in it. So I'm just going to tell you that I think that on that one, the right wing ought to be a little bit circumspect. I think they've got to be careful on all of these issues and make sure that they don't politicize them. But there's no way you could look at this issue where the Department of Justice, it appears, violated at least four of their guidelines when it comes to seizing, um, secretly seizing phone records. All right, well, that, the that they it, should explain. But remember, Attorney General Holder doesn't know anything about it. Because he Please, recused himself, Bill, but he won't bring his. You're falling for the story if you say that. No, no, no. You're, I'm not falling for anything. You're like the but press you sitting in the, in the press in the conference Carney briefing room. No, no, I'm not falling for anything. I don't fall for stuff. You guys okay. know that. But all you don't have to say if you're Holder. in the press corps is, um, with all due respect, uh, Mr. Attorney General, why don't you go out to lunch and bring in the guy who is responsible for it? And we'll he ask knew. him question. Yeah, but he didn't. He said he didn't even know that, Bill. He said he didn't all even right. know who signed off. That's baloney. He doesn't know and whatever. <laughs> Nobody knows. There's a scandal behind it, I guarantee you. All right. Well, I'm going to hold you to that, Kate. Okay. Directly ahead, we'll